In this video we are going to see how we can create sticky elements and have them sticky in our page. Uh, it doesn't matter which page builder we are using, we can do it with every page builder we have. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly creating tutorials about WordPress, so please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So, uh, if you are using Oxygen, then probably you have seen already Jonathan's video, which beat me to it. Uh, he had already created a video about sticky elements. If you don't know who's Jonathan, uh, be sure to check him out, especially to check him out, especially if you're using uh, Oxygen uh, website web uh, builder. He has uh, a website. Uh, sorry. Uh, a video channel, a YouTube channel called Permaslag, and he's pretty good, he's great actually, and of course he's uh, creating videos for Oxygen as well, so he's no, he knows what he's doing. Also I'm a little jealous of his keyboard, but you have to see a video to check it out. So uh, be sure to check it out, I will put a link for his channel in the description below, just to check him out, he's pretty good, he's pretty great. And let's go and see what we're going to do. We're not going to do it uh, by hand using shortcode, using JavaScript or anything else. Uh, we're going to do it using a really light plugin, an easy to use plugin. And this is why I'm creating this video because I was going to do it with another uh, way, a more easy way. And of course, if you can handle uh, code, it's faster and it's safer not to install uh, many plugins. Okay, the less plugins you have, the best is for your website. It's more fast, it's uh, more secure, it's better. But if you want to add sticky and you don't want to do it by hand or you want to use a plugin just to have a little more uh, versatility, I don't know the word, so don't go there. Uh, do have a little more options, so you can watch this video and do it with this way. So let's go to the plugins, and we're going to add a new plugin, which is called uh, Sticky Anything, I think. Something like that. Let's go for Sticky. And let's see. Okay, Sticky Menu or anything on Scroll. I'm going to install that. As you can see, 900,000 active installation, last updated one day ago, I think it was without update about a year or something, but then for the last two or three months uh, it has uh, been updated twice, I think. Okay, let's activate that, and the plugin is very simple, and we will see how it works. Okay, let's go into the settings and then sticky menu or anything. And here you will have the basic settings, which is the... Uh, here you will put the ID or the class of the element that you want to be sticky. Here is the pixels, we're going to see all of those. And here is when you want this plugin to be hide or shown uh, depending on the screen resolution. So let's go and see what we have created. I have created a really ugly <laughs> page. This is from uh, some already made blocks by the Oxygen team. And as you can see, I have created two uh, columns. The one column is with the text and the other one has here a login button with a login form. And here is another login form. Uh, in the middle, I could say, the second one. So, <coughs> sorry about that. So let's go back uh, into the oxygen and we're going to click in the element that we're going to want it to be sticky. So I'm going to click that and as you can see, I have already created a class named sticky. You can create anything you want or you can just copy the ID. But I think it's a little bit easier to create a class and have it uh, a unique name created this time. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five, or something. It doesn't matter what you, yeah, what you put, but you have to remember what it is to set it in the settings. Let's go and add this, and it's strongly recommended not to use let uh, not to use uh, 
uh, numbers in the class. Okay, I forgot that. So let's go and add here the word sticky. <laughs> okay, and let's copy that, add the class. And now we have a class named sticky here. So let's go back and here I'm going to put a dot and then I'm going to put sticky. I'm using the dot because I'm using classes. If I was using the ID of the element, which is here, I would use the pound sign. This is for the IDs. So after that, I'm just going to click save settings and I'm going to refresh the front end. And now, as you can see, this is a sticky form. Now, you have to remember that it doesn't matter how many sections or blocks or anything else you have, it will remain sticky for the whole page. It will not go anywhere else. As you can see, it hovers over the other element, the other form. And it doesn't matter if you create it. And let's go and add another section here. Okay, it's already in another section, as you can see. This col this uh, columns, this progress bar is to another section, so it will cross the section and will continue to remain sticky for the whole page. Now I wanted this uh, to be sticky for this section, and when it reaches this element, I want it to be unsticky. So let's go and select the element, the second one, which already has a class sticky two or I can just delete that and put a class of unsticky or something. Unsticky, very creative name. Okay, let's add the class. And I'm going back to the settings. I'm going to advanced settings. And here that says push up element. I'm going to put a dot and then the class unsticky. Save settings, refresh the page. And let's see how now how it works. Okay, I'm scrolling down, and once I have the second one, nothing happens. Okay, I didn't save here, so <laughs> I didn't save when I hit the unsticky class. So let's go and refresh the page again here. And now let's scroll down, and we'll see that this is exactly what I wanted to have. So as you can see now, uh, the element will go up and it will not follow me for the next page. So of course this can be the section, the next section, or an element in the same position or something else. It doesn't have to be underneath the element that it's sticky. Okay, you can use this element instead of, of this. It doesn't matter which element you use or the whole section. So some settings uh, that makes our life easier, and this is something that you can use instead of the code because of the settings, is the uh, space between the top of the page and the sticky. As you can see now, we have about uh, 15 pixels, I think, 10 to 15, something like that. But we can go and put 50. And then I can save and go and refresh the page. And now you will see that I will have more breathing room here. Also, uh, here we, it will check for the admin toolbar. So if someone has the admin toolbar enabled, uh, he will have the 50 pixels from here and not from the beginning, from the beginning of the page. Uh, I mean, the end of the uh, bar of the browser. So it will check if he has the admin bar, which is great. And of course, you can set uh, if you do not want to be sticky uh, below smaller than six. Let's go for 700 pixels. Let's go and save that. Refresh the page and see how it works. OK, right now it's sticky. Let's go and do it something like this. Okay, let's go and see if it's sticky right now. Yeah, it's still sticky. And let's change the breakpoint of the column. Let's go here in the columns and let's put it less than 4080. Okay, 480. Okay, let's refresh so it will not change the column position. 
and because I do want to see if it's sticky or not, okay? And of course it doesn't work right now because it already loaded the page when it was full size. So if I refresh, I think, no, it will not do it right here. But if you try it in a mobile phone, you will see that it works uh, very good. Okay. So, uh, of course, you have also the option uh, if you do not want to stick elements if it's larger than something. So you may want to have a sticky element only mobile or something like that. So you can put here the pixel that you want for the screen. And in advanced settings, if you want the Z index, this is the number that shows which element is on top of another element. So basically, if you have an element that cross over something else and you want that to be on top, you will have to give it a bigger number in the Z index. If you give it 999, it will have the biggest number and it will go on top of every other element. So that was all with this plugin. It's a very easy plugin, very easy to set it up. It will not slow down your website a bit. But of course, if you know how to do it by hand, I would strongly strongly suggest it. And also, if you could speak English, <laughs> it would be better. Okay, sorry for any mistakes that I do. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.